It's our third day here in Budapest and we have decided to explore another part of town. We have just finished breakfast in a cafe that we, a restaurant that we've actually found near our hostel. Its name is Stika. I'll put the link below. We really enjoyed the lunch there. The meat is really nice. The pancakes are really good. It was so satisfying. I really enjoyed it and even the coffee was really good. But the day is really good. The weather is really nice. It's quite sunny today. Not as cold as the other days. And we are hoping to explore many different beautiful sites again in a different area of town. And now we're here in Hero Square. Behind me are the seven tribes, the seven Magyar tribes that have united to found the city. This is really nice. It's quite touristy at this time of the day. It's about 11, about noon time actually. It's really grand. It's a big square. And as you all know, as I have said in my other vlogs, I really like the statues here in Budapest. They, they're really good in making these statues really really look like they're alive and the details are very intricate I like them very much they're very well done and that's it so we're gonna explore the city park today we're seeing a castle and we are doing something really special for my birthday led by no other than since to Ethan. This square here is called Hero Square because of those seven tribe leaders that have actually united the country as one. And it's really nice to see they look like proper warriors, very strong and courageous as you see it. It's nice that the people here have put such credit and such memorial and honor that these um, ancestors have deserved. I'm super impressed with the details. I love it. Like look at the horse. It's like a giant live horse looking at me. Hero Square and the Millennium Memorial were built to remember the heroes and rulers of Hungary. It is situated along Andresi Avenue. This is also the same street where the apartment that I've toured you in during my first episode in this series is actually located. Hey, here in City Park and we're here by the gate ice skating rink. We're just watching we're thinking if we want to go or not because we don't really know how to skate. But it's a really nice view and apparently this ice skating rink is one of the widest here in Europe. Experiencing this very wide open space ice skating rink is one of the best things that you need to do when you visit Budapest in winter. And do you know that its level of coolness has actually withstood the test of time because it's been visited by thousands of people every year since 1869. <laughs> Food again. We're not really eating, but if they're churros, 
this ad that has been created for churros since I know this is not Spain, Spain but yeah. <laughs> when you want the food, don't let the place stop you. That's what makes your travel really fun if you eat what you want to eat. Anyways, we're here. Still near the ice skating right? There at the back. Going towards Casa Here is City Park. We are passing by these food trucks that have different variety of food, different flavors. Some of them quite traditional. And there are marzipan, like sausages, and crab. Not the Christmas market feel, but the usual food. Um, food fest feel. Oh, they've got strudel. Nice. We walked deeper into the heart of the city park and found ourselves amidst the gates of this beautiful fairy tale like castle. Just entered Badakhlian, <laughs> as it is spelled. Sorry if I don't pronounce that right. Ding! <laughs> um, it's nice. It's like a, out from a page of a storybook. And there's food again, again. here. And the buildings are really nice. See? You feel like you wanna dress up like a princess and walk around these buildings. The details are really nice. It's like one of those little girl dream castles that you see. Love the gate there. And actually, this was once just for an exhibition. And then people loved it, and I see why. So it was turned into a permanent, like a proper um, building, and has now become a museum. When the Dementor decides to chill. At the site, we also found an old monastery which had really interesting statues, and of course, the very beautiful towers which made us decide to take a tour. For only 2,100 forints, or about 6 euros, you could already tour the Gatehouse Tower, the Apostles Tower, and the Museum. From the top of the tower, you can see everything, a lot that's going on in the city park, and the beautiful architecture that takes you away from present day and brings you back in time or brings you to a page in a fairy tale book. Inside this massive, beautiful building is the Agriculture and History Museum and of course, we're going in and exploring. Seeing the artifacts and collections in this museum makes you think, like if Khal Drava in Game of Thrones had a proper palace, this would probably look more or less like this. Short horses, tall horses, bold horses, brown horses, black horses, all about horses. All the horses are there. Tents, camping, hunting, everything. It's just so Paldrago. Different kinds of chicken. Most number of adverse that I've ever seen. 
<laughs> Pero totoo ang bow. Oh, nerida mga ganun. Yung doggy. Nakaganon si doggy. Here in City Park. I would like to say that this is the main park here in Budapest. The ice skating rink is there. The castle is there. There's a pond over there. A pond? Yeah. A lake. It's a man-made lake. And then, say Cheney Bats. Just right where we are going. What's a visit in the city of Spas if you haven't gone to the thermal baths? Yes, this is Zaycheni Thermal Baths, the largest medicinal thermal bath in all of Europe. It is also in the city park and the nearest metro station is literally just across its walls. And that is Zaycheni Ferdo Metro Station. But before we get all soaked up in those amazing baths, let's explore the last bit of the city park, which is this lake. And it is so beautiful. It's actually warm. The fog, the mist, the ability to exude such a mysterious, mystical feeling. Oh, I'm a fan of Budapest. Just taking the metro back to the um, accommodation. Change our outfit. <laughs> Ready for the bath. And then we are going to try it. I can't wait. Yeah, I think that's the highlight, the new thermal bath. Yeah, the highlight of the day. <laughs> and we are really hoping that we won't encounter another rude ate <laughs> in this country. Hey, we're back in our room. We just bought tickets for the baths and ta -da! we bought it from here and the very kind receptionist has given us a voucher and the price is also a few forwards lower which is really good so we purchased one ticket with a cabin that's already good for two people as he said and then one ticket for a locker. We're just gonna get ready and get changed and then we are heading there. Let's go! I'm so excited! <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Bye, bye. <laughs> We're here guys. We're walking around looking for the main entrance. Apparently nearest the um nearest the train station, the metro station, there's an entrance. But because you've got a ticket bought already, you need to go to the main one, which is the facade, the main. <laughs> the facade of the building. It's just right here. And that's there. Can't wait, I'm so excited. And then power the bracelet. Voila!
this cool experience in the UK. I mean, that you know, me too. Your first ever pool, both pool and one. <laughs> You know what is tourniquet? What? Tourniquet is like... Oh, okay, okay. Like a tornado. Yeah. Tornado. tornado. Like a whirlpool. Tornado. Yeah. Yes, so let's uh, go. <laughs> come on. Come. Don't be afraid. Oh, gosh. Are you, are you afraid? Yeah, we are because we want to get... You have to go... Drive. You have to go directly or in one, one shot, you know? <laughs> okay. Take my hand. Okay, you go. Oh, my God. You go. You go. Take my hand. Oh, my God. You go. Under baths, three massive major pools, saunas, massage facilities, spa therapies. This place is such a dream come true and an ultimate birthday experience for me. When I come back to the memories of this experience, I will definitely still remember the mist rising from the warm water and into the cool air of the winter's night and blurring the beautiful Peru building in its background like it was such a fairy tale. Also spent some time in the saunas and enjoyed the heat that we barely experienced in the UK. We enjoyed the steam because of course our pores just have been craving for some humidity and moisture. We also tried this 100 degree Celsius sauna and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we're out. <laughs> we have randomly decided to check out the other side. It's, it's the other pool aside from the one with the world cascade. cascade. Yeah. So the temperature here is higher. I like it better. It's so relaxing. Yeah, I like the temperature. Mm. Ate is dancing because she's a. <laughs> yeah, and I love it because it's you can see the steam. It's very foggy. It becomes really magical. There's a lot of people, but you've got enough space for your own. And you want to do? Oh, you might be able to see better because there's less fog here. It's been a really nice experience. I'm never gonna forget this birthday celebration <laughs> in Budapest. I really enjoyed so it. <laughs> so tita. We feel very relaxed now and for sure while changing we will feel the hunger. <laughs> We've got top up machines where you can top up your wristband and you can buy trays and food without carrying your cash everywhere. We've got hair dryers and then they've got a dryer for swimsuits and wet things as well. 
So we've got cabins for ourselves. We've got a foggy activated lock and then you've got kind of like a seat there. And then you've got nice hanging hooks there. I would suggest that if you were trying to get one of these, if you were traveling with a group, then at least one of you could have this cabin in the rest of the door lockers. But at least you've got more privacy here. Wanna move my feet. It was a very dinner experience. The food, the ambiance, the staff, the service, everything was really good. It was really great. <laughs> Before I freeze, I'll end the vlog for now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts by leaving comments below. Subscribe to my channel for more fun videos. Ooh. <laughs> Hit the bell button so you will be updated in my next video. <laughs> That's for now. We need to look for a way home. See you next time. Somewhere around the world. Bye! Goodbye! Goodbye!